Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on the hidden secret number 20 of why you can still have back pain. In this video, the hidden secret number 20 is due to a short leg. A short leg can cause back pain because the legs are connected into the pelvis by way of the hip joints. So there's two different reasons why people have a short leg. One is called an anatomical short leg where because of how you developed as you were growing up, one leg just is naturally longer than the other. That's very, very common. In fact, I don't know anybody that actually has both legs that are exactly the same length. Usually, one of them is a couple millimeters shorter than the other. The other one is due to a functional short leg, and that's even more common. And the reason that you develop a functional short leg is due to a variety of reasons. The first of which could be due to collapsed arches in your feet, and we talked about that in a previous video. What I said was, your, your, the bottom of your foot has, a, has an arch to it, and if you lose that arch and the foot flattens out, it draws the leg down on that one side, causing you to have a short leg. And when that, that leg gets drawn down, it pulls the pelvis out of, a out of alignment, causes it to become imbalanced, causing abnormal stress and strain to be placed on the spine, causing back pain. Another reason why you can have a short leg is due to problems in your knees or problems in your hip joints. The knees and the hip joints can twist and rotate and they can cause abnormal amounts of muscle pull on one side or the other, drawing the leg down or drawing the leg to spin out, causing a toe out foot flare, drawing the leg down. And yet there's another reason why people have a short leg and that's called a cervical syndrome. Cervical syndrome is something you may have never heard of before, and it's a phenomenon, it's, it, it's something that happens with the neurology up in the neck area. The brain has two hemispheres, it has a left and a right hemisphere, and the, this side of the brain controls this side of your body, this side of your brain controls this side of your body, and the, the signals go down the brain, down your midbrain to your spinal cord, and they, the signals crisscross. And if you have a misalignment or a subluxation or some problem in your upper cervical area, what that will do is it will cause an abnormal amount of nerve impulse to go down to the opposite side, causing your leg to get drawn down. And by clearing out the problems in the neck region, that'll cause your legs to balance and that will alleviate a lot of back pain. It sounds kind of weird, but it, but it works. In my office, the way that we restore um, leg length equality is through a process called MASS correction. And MASS is an acronym that stands for Motion, Alignment, and Strength. So by restoring the motion to the joints and the muscles, restoring alignment to the, to the spine and to the, the, to the pelvis, and then restoring strength and stabilization to the spine, I'm able to provide, a chronic, uh, provide permanent relief to chronic back pain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about uh, a short leg or back pain, please feel free to communicate with me through my website at redapplewellness.net. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell a friend. And again, thank you very much for checking out this video.